Hello and welcome to Next Gen RN. Today I'm going to be going over the basics of a syringe, exactly what a syringe is made out of. That way you know all the parts, get you ready for your clinicals or your lab, or if you just need a quick reference. So let's check it out. So in my hand, I'm just gonna simply read the label but when you further yourself in your studies and your practice, you'll learn colors immediately and what they are. So 3ml syringe, hypodermic safety needle, 23 gauge, and it's a one inch needle. All right, so let's open her up and get started. All right. Got a 3ml syringe here. First part, the needle cap. Okay, don't want to lose this. Hold on to those when you're drawing medications. You never know if you'll have to recap something. This little blue piece that's hanging off, it can be moved to facilitate injection into a patient, depending on medication and location. Um, you can move it wherever you like. It does, um, <clears throat> it's pretty flexible. Let me just leave this here so I can show you guys a technique. I'm sure we're all familiar that the middle part is the needle. And then let me let me just kind of zoom in closer. <laughs> I want to talk about the bevel of a needle. And that is the angled edge at the end of the needle. There you go. See that? It's right there the angle goes up it's very hard to see but just know when you have a syringe in your hand and if you're in lab or you're in clinicals um, or you're in practice hopefully you know you need to put the bevel up for certain medications and certain forms of injections if um, if you need to put the safety on after after use this is how you do it blue part down on a hard surface and you're going to click the needle in there. I see a lot of students that utilize their fingers and that's a good way to get a needle stick. So if you need to, when you need to lock in the safety, click it down on a hard surface away from you and your patient. Okay. If you need to recap for verification with a second nurse or what have you, you're going to use the swooping technique. Just like that. I swoop the needle right into the cap. And notice I put my fingers on the side. I never put my fingers up here. It's just a bad habit. We need to break that. So again, never, never walk around with a needle that's open to air because you'll actually, you'll contaminate this needle. So you always wanna swoop the needle into the needle cap, put your fingers on the side and hold it shut. Now, how do we how do we measure medications? Um, here's the plunger. This part that I'm pulling down on is the plunger. And just for learning purposes, that's what it looks like. It's just a, a simple plastic rubber piece that goes in here. And you measure medications by the top of the plunger. So if I were to draw one ml of air right there. That is an accurate measurement. You do not measure down here. The, the medication doesn't touch down there. The medication touches on the top of the plunger right here. So that's where we want to make that line even to the 1 ml region. There you go. So that would be the, the proper way to look at a plunger and the barrel, which is right here. This is the barrel. It's a plastic piece that is measured. Um, that's how you properly measure medication. So again, Needle cap, you can swoop that in. Fingers on the side, please. Safety device, if I was, uh, once I was done with, with the patient, I would simply find a hard surface away from you and the patient. This will click right in, and that would be ready for your biohazardous box or the sharps container. Click that in there. It's the barrel, plunger, can move up and down. 
right? and the sa- and again the safety device. If you hear the term lure lock, that's right there. Lure lock means the the threaded part of the the syringe right here on the barrel of it. So there's a treaded piece in there, and it simply threads on. So righty tighty, I like to say. Um, so if you're term lure lock, no, it just means uh, the thread portion of it. Okay. Um, lure locks you find on IVs, IV lines, uh, certain other medical devices, but this was a quick intro into your basics of what to look for when you hear the term lure lock. All right. So three ml syringe. And then again, don't forget guys, the bevel. Let's see if I can get a better view. Ah, there we go. So right there. There's that slanted edge, that point. The slanted edge is pointing up for certain injections. For example, if I was giving a flu shot, uh, never with a 3ml, by the way, that would be a 1ml syringe. That would be a, a bevel up practice. Okay? So that it's a pretty quick video on the basics of a syringe. Um, lot, it's, a, it's a lot to know. Um, some people may, may not think that, but it's important to know the parts of a syringe so you can understand your practice and deliver quality care to your future patients. All right. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. Let me know what other videos you want and I'll make it happen.